This is Coach and Cody's new AB uh, three pound foam bag. It's pre measured urethane foam for bathtub support uh, when you need a, when you have a void underneath the fiberglass unit. What's unique about this is that it has both parts already put into one bag. So just like the Cojan bag where you mix the paint, you squeeze this, it pops into this, and it creates the foam. And then it has this handy little dispenser where you drill your hole in your bathtub and you just let it go right into the hole and give you your support. All right, so I'm going to pop this bag so you can see how it works. Hopefully it doesn't explode in my face. So, all you gotta do is mix it. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So now you can see it's not coming out. All it is is doing is mixing. Once it starts to expand, you will pop the top seal, and then we'll have a pre-drilled um, hole in the bathtub waiting for us to be able to push this in, right? This foam takes about four minutes to uh, to react and harden. So it gives you just enough time to get it to, uh, to mix properly. And then you don't have to wait 24 hours for it to completely seal. All you gotta do is now squeeze it up. Add some pressure, pop the seal, and then watch it come out. Then go straight into your bathtub. All right, no mess, no measuring, no hassle, no time wasting, none of that. It's about getting, doing it easily, getting as many toes as you can a day. All right, so you can see it just comes right out. When you're done, just throw away your bag. Okay, see? Now you wait, and you can see it's already it's already reacting. So it's going to fill up the void underneath any fiberglass unit. I like to do this to take the place of those uh, bathtub uh, inserts that they put in. This, I think, is a nicer... Um, repair it doesn't look repaired when you're done uh, but you can see how fast it's growing okay it's real time all right that was all about four ounces of material um that's a 32 ounce cup and you see it's just growing and growing and growing um we could we could uh make these bags any size or any uh, any amount up to a quart of each. Um, I found through experience that you don't really need much to fill up a void underneath the bathtub. Uh, this is usually about enough. Uh, it's been about about three minutes since I mixed and uh, and poured, and you can see it's already way over a quart. Again, that's only f uh, four ounces of material. Um, you can see it continues to. To grow, um, keep in mind you have to leave a vent hole on, in the bathtub so that any excess foam can come out and not make your tub um, bulge out and uh, create unwanted bumps. All right, so um, let me give it a couple of minutes, usually about four, and it will uh, be hard enough to actually hit and stand on. Um, so bear with me. It's been 4 minutes 23 seconds since I first uh, mixed it. Um, so give it another 30 seconds and we'll test it out, see how hard it is or not. Again, these bags can come in any size. You can see the foam, see how clean everything is. This just gets thrown out in the garbage. Um, I didn't put in, I use any gloves. My hands are clean. As clean as they can be for refinishers. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, has it been five minutes yet? Almost five minutes since I mixed. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and touch it just to see how hard or soft it is. And as you can see, it's pretty hard already. Now it's just to harden up completely, give it another minute. It's very hot. You can actually heat your hands on it. It's three pound foam, it's available in three pounds. It's available uh, six, eight, and I think 16 pound foam. Uh, the more dense the foam, the less expansion you're going to get, uh, and then the softer it's going to be, the lighter it is. So, three pound foam I found is pretty much good enough to hold up body weight underneath the bathtub. But um, as you can see, it's still a little soft. Give it a couple of minutes. This is the previous test of what we uh, of what we did before. Same amount of foam, and as you can see, after it hardens up, the stuff is hard. You can stand on it. All right, it'll hold body weight. All right. All right, I'm 235 pounds now, and it holds me up nice. All right, but as long as it cools off, right, it's getting there. All right, it's no longer sticky. Alright, so it's been about nine minutes since I've mixed, uh, and uh, it's pretty hard already. Um, Alright, so that's the foam on the floor. This is after it's cooled. Um, put my foot on it, and hopefully I don't bust my butt. Alright, that's 235 pounds standing on top of four ounces of foam, right? So this will give you adequate support for the um, for the bathtub void. Can you get down until you can show the front? Show them. Can you see that it's holding me up? Right? I can work up. Alright, so that's Cogent Coatings A B foam. Get your foam at Cogent Coatings, manufacturers of bathtub coatings. Number is 862-238-7224. Thanks.